Welcome to another edition of the Weekly Roundup, where we bring you all the top stories from the week. I'm Lindsay with GTV. In case you haven't heard, all campus elections revealed last week that Trish Palermo will be the next MSA president, with Eric Hittlesheim as her VP. A recently released report found that the U of M is the second worst in the Big Ten for black students' college completion, with a 23.8% graduation gap between black and white students. And the University of Minnesota bias incident report saw a large increase in February, making 18 reported cases the highest number since the committee was formed in January of 2016. Officials attribute the increase to more awareness of resources as well as a charged political climate. The university announced last week that the U will self-report a minor NCAA violation involving coach PJ Flex communication with a former athlete. Though the degree of communication the new coach had with the athlete has not been released, athletic director Mark Coyle says that even a happy birthday text could be a violation. But the Gopher men's basketball team hauled in awards last week with Richard Pitino winning Big Ten Coach of the Year after turning one of the program's worst years around from an 8-23 record to a 23-8 record this year. Thanks for watching this week's Roundup. Don't forget to check back every Sunday to get the latest headlines of the week.